Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I have now straight up 11 o'clock, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. And um, so I wanted, I had asked Jody if she would be willing to share something that uh, that she felt like was helpful for everybody. And um, so I'm going to let her go ahead and start out and just share whatever you have to share with us, Jody. Yeah, thank you. And I'm Jody Wilson up here in Washington State, <laughs> cold still. Now, what I wanted to share was just um, mindset, our mind frame. Where where do we live in our brain? And I know for me, this is a huge thing because I I really and truly in the past six months have kind of conquered some hurdles if you will because i i mean we're we're literally always i don't think i don't if anyone does this i mean just the things we say that come out of our mouths at any given time or what are we focusing on or i don't know about you guys but i can be like this up on a mountaintop down in a valley in in the same day maybe multiple times and you know, I don't, I, that's not really a, the place that we want to be. And so what are we focusing on? What are we talking about? Um, we are directly responsible for what we choose to think about and dwell on. We have that ability, right? Um, so I tell my kids all the time, you know, you become like the people you hang around. And mm -hmm. for me right now, you know, I'm choosing to focus on a lot of different things that are that are helping me to get the right mindset. And I don't know if anyone's read this book. This is what started kind of all of it for me. Switch on your brain. It's amazing. Um, totally changing my life. And I wanted to read a couple things because, you know, um, Hebrews 11, 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I'm not talking about name it and claim it, but I am talking about speaking out of our mouth, you know, what are the things that we want? What are the goals that we're setting? Um, you know, this is really a big deal. When you make a conscious decision to focus and direct your attention correctly, you change literally your physical matter. And that sounds kind of crazy, but it's it's totally true. Then, you know, I I think the biggest thing for me, also just one thing, Renita, if everyone's familiar with her, had a great um, podcast to, to share how to break the habit of being yourself, or maybe that was that was her book. Who was she talking about, Deb, the other night? The guy we listened to. That was a podcast. Joe Dispenza. Joe Dispenza. So great. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's it's amazing. But Renita says, you know, if you can, can't can end a sentence or something that you're saying out of your mouth with, and that's the way I want it. And what do I mean by that? Like for me, this was like, oh gosh, you know, I would catch myself going out loud, which is even crazier. Man, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can do this, you know. Oh, uh, this is, is this too big for me? Like, I don't, yeah, everybody else is having success and I'm not having, I mean, all of these things, right, that come out of our mouth. I don't know if I can do this. Now follow that up with, and that's the way I want it. No, I do not want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it made, it's so simple, but it's so, you know, change your perspective and go, you know what? I'm going to build a big business and that's the way I want it. I'm attracting people that need healing and want change in their life. And that's the way I want it. If you can't follow it up with that, then it's, you know, probably not a great thing to be speaking out of your mouth. Um, and also another huge thing, you know, and we hear it all the time, but unless you're really jumping in is engaging with people. You know, we hear all the time, plug into the Zooms, plug into the, the business trainings, uh, listen to the podcasts. Why? Because you're surrounding yourself with things that you want to follow and emulate and all of those things. So, and when you plug in, you're having a really bad day. I mean, and I plug, I can be like, oh, I don't want to get on that Zoom. And every time after I get on the Zoom at the end, I'm like, wow, I'm really glad I got on the Zoom. 
because it just it plugs me back in. And that's huge. Um, and also like having an accountability partner. I mean, it's like going to the gym. It's much easier for me to go to the gym and work out with somebody who's also motivated and in the same mind frame. So if you don't have someone that you're, you know, running with or, or doing with, I know Debbie and I talk all the time and we just, she encourages me, I encourage her. And it always seems to be that thing of, you know, gosh, I'm glad you called today. And so I would just challenge you to, to ha get somebody that you can just touch base with, um, whether it be daily, every other day, but at least a, a couple of times a week to, um, bounce things off of. And that's been super helpful for me. So that's, it's pretty short and concise, but you know, our words are powerful and I would just, uh, challenge you guys this week to really pay attention to what's coming out of your mouth and even in our thoughts, but a lot of it just actually comes out of our mouth. So just pay attention to that. Awesome, Jody. Thank you so much for sharing that. And, um, you know, one of the key things that you said that really stood out to me was decision. Decision. <laughs> I know for myself, when I have made a decision, and, you know, this has been, I can't remember the famous guy that talks about this and how, um, you know, your things change, like the world change, which changes when you make a decision. And, um, so that is, you have to ask yourself, have you made a decision that you're going to do this? You're going to do this business. And what does that look like for you? What do you want out of it? And when you make a decision, it's like, if anything else comes up, it's like, you can kind of just sweep that off. No, I'm doing this. Because we have a million, we literally have a million dollar business in our hands. And um, I don't know if you guys know it or not, um, but LifeWave just won another award, the Bravo Growth Award, the top company in the world for growth right now. That means people are hearing about LifeWave. And if you don't tell them, somebody else is going to tell them because it's growing that quickly. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to mention is if you have not been doing this, um, and let me just, I'm, I'm just kind of curious about something right now. Are you, who are you guys seeing in the screen? Are you seeing me? Mm -hmm. You are seeing me speaking? Yeah. Yes, okay. I see you speaking, yes. Okay, for some reason. I'm seeing my beautiful friend Carol. <laughs> she's in the <laughs> she's in the center of the screen for me, and I'm like, okay, my mind is like, what what's going on? <laughs> you know what? It keeps flashing back and forth, Debbie. Carol just needs to mute herself. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, well, mute I speaker view, but yeah. Uh, okay, Debbie, I see you now. But anyway, uh, it was interesting. You know what? I bet it's pro. I, anyway, doesn't matter. Um. So, mute if you guys have not been doing this, I want to encourage you to start posting on Facebook because I have been getting people from Facebook that are coming to me and enrolling that I may not have ever reached out to. I mean, I had a lady the other day reach out to me. I enrolled her at the gold level and I would have never reached out to her on Facebook, you know, because we're not like uh, personal friends. It's just somebody, you know, we all have like a bunch of friends on Facebook that we probably don't know where they came from. And uh, so if you're not posting before and after photos or stories, your own story or things and just continually doing it, then I think you're missing some people that could be looking for answers and that will, uh, you know, reach out to you for more information. And um, so how you do that, I just want to give you a couple of ideas on how to do that. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go over to our little team site, the um, business built, the uh, x39newmembers.com. 
and I'm on the business builders page. Can you guys see it on your screen? Yes. Okay. And you scroll. Oh, okay. Let me, let me just stop for a second. And I'm going to, what I'm talking about now, I'm going to go over to uh, photos. I'm going to go to the photos page and you can download some of these photos on your phone or on your computer. You can just click on it and then you can, you know, uh, save it on your phone and you can post that on your Facebook. Um, another idea is at the bottom, I've got a few little short testimonials, two to three little testimonials. You could use one of those, but I think it's better to use photos because as people are scrolling through, they don't have to listen to an entire uh, video, but they, you know, these photos will grab some attention. You can also go to... Um, the, our Facebook group, the Wellness Warriors, and you can screenshot some stories in there. You might want to leave the person's name out, you know, crop the name out, but just grab the story and uh, post that. And then just put, I just put a little thing at the, at the end of my little post that says, I can help you. And um, so people have reached out. And the other thing that I just want to mention again is to when you send somebody your link, I don't recommend that you send them just your lot when they're ready to enroll, that you send just your lifewave.com slash Debbie Martin or, you know, your personal site because they can go down a rabbit hole. I would send them directly to this enrollment kit selection. And once again, the way you do that, if, if you can see my URL up here, it's your website slash enrollment slash packs. Can you guys see that in the URL? Okay, yeah. Jody, just nod your head if you can see it. Yeah, okay. And so that sends them directly here. Now I'm going to go back over here to... Uh, the team site and go to business builders. If you find this helpful, scroll down. I just want to show you some new things that I added. First of all, you've got to see this short little video. Renita posted this yesterday. This is um, Dr. Lonnie Herman. It's his mother. And she's talking about her experience with the passions. It's like a couple minutes or something. You could share that. Um, very powerful. Or send that to, you know, some of your people. If you scroll down, uh, keep scrolling down. Okay, you might find some of these little things helpful. Like, um, again, you can save this as a JPEG or you can um, download it as a PDF. And what I did was I downloaded them as a PDF. Let's see. And then I had them laminated. So if I'm meeting with somebody or I'm doing like a home meeting or something like that, it's real easy for people to just kind of see. Well, I can't show it to you because I'm, I'm on screen share. But anyway, I laminated these. And the other thing that, um, that I created, if you've got people that are coming in as diamond and, you know, they're having a little bit of difficulty trying to figure out what to put in the diamond pack, these are just some suggestions to kind of help guide people. So you might find that helpful. And uh, get out of that. Okay. And let's see, what else did I want to mention? Um, okay. I created this little video, this one right here. This is like about two minutes or uh, two, two minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. Watch this. And use it if you find it helpful. If you don't, then don't use it. But I added to it some photos of people, well-known people like, uh, you know, Diamond and Silk, um, like uh, Mike Lindell, um, the uh, Dr. Shiner, who is the plastic surgeon that's been featured on Dr. Oz and on um, the Doctor show. He puts all of his... He, patients on the X39. And so some of those photos and stuff are in here just to give a little, 
credibility and curiosity. Um, and the other thing, I'm going to stop the screen share here for a second. I had um, a, a thought a few days ago. The way my brain works is when I get ideas, you know, it, it, they come through usually like my right brain and I get like pictures or concepts. And I had this concept and you guys might find this useful. Um, I think of people like when, especially when I'm talking to people, are they in the lobby? This is lobby people versus penthouse people. So in my mind, I saw, okay, if you just think about people in the lobby, they're just, they're kind of generally seeing like kind of what's in front of them and like maybe just the people around them. They're, they're more product people. What's kind of in this for me, for my health, where at versus penthouse people. If you're in the penthouse and you're looking out the penthouse window, you've got a completely different view of things. You, you, you're able to see much further. So those are the people in my mind that they see the opportunity with LiveWay, like where we are in the marketplace with light therapy being the future of wellness and stem cells being the future of wellness. And, um, and, and so their view is much different. And so when I'm talking to somebody, my mind is now thinking, okay, are we in the lobby? Or are we in the penthouse? And you can get people from the lobby to the penthouse, you know, up the elevator <laughs> and maybe some ways to get them up, you know, get them in the elevator and up to the penthouse is through three-way calls, through uh, maybe this, that little, little two-minute video that I created. You know, what you're doing is expanding their vision of what is possible for their life, that it's not just about product because a lot of people just don't get network marketing, or maybe they've done network marketing in the past and they're not from, uh, they, they were not on a team that really worked together. And so they just kind of were out there by themselves and they didn't really have a great experience. And this is a way to, um, you know, to get people to see that, wow, I mean, we really have something that could benefit your life financially and you have access to a whole team of people that you could work with, get inspiration from, do three-way calls with, and um, and get them on the Zoom opportunity. So those are three things I think, like to get people in the elevator going up to the penthouse to look out the penthouse window and have a different viewpoint. And that would be three-way calls, maybe that little two-minute video or some other video, and the Zoom opportunity overviews calls. And it, again, if you guys don't know when the Zoom opportunity calls are, you can go to the x39newmember.com website and go to the Zooms page. And they're all right there. Okay, so I've got about 1118. I think those are the key things that I wanted to mention to you. And um, so I'm just going to stop and open it up for comments, questions, are you, how are you guys doing in your business? Where do you need help? Okay, Britt Marie. Yeah, I have a question uh, regarding yeah. to uh, Facebook postings. Is there any uh, regulations there that you cannot do? Because I, I thought you couldn't just, you know, keep them. Um, that's more like well, these, these, are just, these are personal stories. And so, you know, we're not saying that the that the uh, the pro the products are going to cure, treat, or prevent right. any disease. You can say that in your little post if you want to. But these are just personal stories that people are sharing. Okay. So you basically do like you know like the photos or little um, stories, but then you just say you just basically say that you know uh, I can help you if you need it. You don't put any links or anything there right no, i no. don't because no. i, I want don't. people coming to me yeah right yeah but i mean you can't even put your own link you don't want to do that right because then it becomes more marketing i, I can do it because um i think i would rather i would rather have a personal conversation with somebody yeah. even if it's just through the chat 
I think every anytime you can get on a phone call with somebody, that's the best. Sometimes it doesn't always work that way. And, it, you know, you're doing it through the chat. But I don't want to just send people to my website because I feel like they just don't have enough information. Or if I send, put the this is it team, uh, this is it info link on there and they go there, they still don't have any connection to to buy the product or, you know, what the cost is. And they'll go Google it or they'll go to, you know, you know, land on somebody's website. That that happens. So then it may be the best thing uh, to do is like uh, in some wording, uh, you know, interesting or put, asking if the interesting PM me, I can help you or something. Yes. Yeah. And then just, you know, when they do DM you, just ask them, this is what I do. I ask them, well, what are you, do you have something, an issue that you're trying to uh, find a solution for? You know, I, I try to get them talking about themselves. Like what, you know, why are you looking? Why are you looking for an answer? What are you looking for an answer for? Right. Okay. And, um, and then I, I just try to be real with people. And I just try to say, you know, uh, send them the this is it info. Look at that information on there to learn more about this. But I've seen some great results with people. And I will usually give them something on, on both sides of the spectrum. Like I'll give them a story of somebody that I know that had quick results that w was really amazing. And then I also balance that with saying, and I also have friends that, you know, don't really feel anything, it was going to take them a little bit longer. Because I don't want people to think that, uh, that they're going to get results in three days. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, you know, so I just try to give a balanced view of it. Can I okay. say something to that, Debbie? Yep. So another thing with posting is what I'm finding, and it's, it's kind of a layering effect. I've, I've posted, I've gotten, you know, a lot more into posting and the first post I put out I had 30 people say I would like more information I would like more information now they that was like three months ago maybe and I just I posted things here and there and then people just come back and they see something enough and this is the thing to remember the people that are, are obviously reaching out when someone has um, a need they're in pain they're looking for a solution. They are, they're going to reach out because you're going to, I mean, they'll see your post and maybe they won't reach out the first time, but maybe on the third or fourth post, they go, oh my gosh, here's another thing. So it's, it's kind of a layering effect. And so the more you post, you're just kind of planting seeds. People go, yeah, oh, wait a minute. I had a guy text me two days ago. He's like, okay, I've been seeing your post and I'm ready now because I, I posted about my husband's cholesterol went in and it was just, his numbers were amazing. He's had cholesterol, high cholesterol for 25 years. And uh, anyway, you'll, you'll reach people at, at their point of need and they will reach out. It just might, it might be a layering effect. So yeah. And it'll be people you never expected. <laughs> it'll be people you would never thought of. You know, that's the kind of the cool thing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, always have a personal phone call if you can. You know, do, can you hop on the phone and chat? It's just a little bit easier. And um, just find out what what their situation is, what their, you know, uh, the problem that they have. You don't have to say, oh, I know this is definitely going to help you. But if you have a story or you have a little video testimonial or something of somebody that had that situation, and now it, it's better than, you know, you can show them that. And, um, but yeah, don't forget about posting like on Facebook. That's the big deal that I want to say. So and do it often because you think people, you know, um, see it because you post it once a week, but they don't necessarily, you know, because Facebook just goes by so quickly. Britt Marie, you had another question? Yeah, I just, like I have always had my Facebook page just set for, you know, like family and friends type thing, but you have set now for all of them, uh, like open for all to see anything you post there? 
Well, I have it. No, I have it for friends and family. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I have it. it. I have it. Um, she's asking, are my posts public, or just the, the the Facebook friends that I have? They see it. My uh, post only my friends see, but you can also set it to friends of friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, perhaps. Well, I'm not sure how that. I'm not sure how that works <laughs> on the posts that you do. So skip that. But yeah. But I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of Facebook friends. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have a question or a comment? Do you find these things helpful? Yes, it's very helpful. And it kind of keeps you going again. Like, okay, you got to get going. That's how I feel. I got to get moving on this. Yeah. 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 Really, I'm telling you guys, I mean, this, I, I, I'm just going to say it again. You have to make a decision. I'm going to do this. And then you have to actually really treat it like a business. Like if the, if somebody was going to pay you a million dollars, what would you do? You know? And for me, I I mean, that's just what has made all the difference for me is that I, early on, I made a decision. When this first came to me, I made a decision. And, the, the you know, I signed up in July and in August, I flew to Florida. And I was at a conference. And then in October, I flew to it because I trusted. I just, I knew, I felt like that God brought this into my life. And now I had to say yes. And I had to say yes. And I had to get going. And, um, and if you don't, then like so much time goes by and then life happens. And then, uh, you know, and then this person calls and then you go off on this trip and, before you know it, so much time has gone by and you have not gotten really any momentum going. So I would just say, make a decision. If you're going to do this, what do you want to do? And then just work it and just keep doing it. Just keep doing it and keep posting on Facebook. Keep reaching out to people and, um, and do three-way calls. That's so important because it's about making that connection. It's about helping people be able to see a bigger vision. It's about perspective. And people are just either looking from the lobby or if you can take them up to the penthouse so they can see that there is a bigger view here that you have access to if you want it. Okay? Anybody mm -hmm. else have any other questions or comments? Okay, well, if there's no more questions or comments, I'm going to just say we'll call it a wrap and I um, hope we see the eclipse today. I got my little glasses. You guys gonna, got your glasses to look at it? <laughs> what percentage are you supposed to see in, in Dallas? Oh, it's coming right over Dallas. It is. So you're going to get total eclipse? Yeah, but we've got a cloudy day, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we'll actually really see it. But, it'll um, get there. Yeah, it will get dark. <laughs> and listen, you guys, if you want to do any three way calls with me, with your people, I'm home this afternoon. So just let me know how I can help you. I'm always here. I want to help you and, um, you know, and make it fun. Right. OK. Right. Thank you. Guys. Thank you guys for being on. We'll say goodbye and have a great day. Thank you, Debbie. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.